In today's video, I'm going to show you how Noah up next runs the best defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the YouTube channel, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day. We cover pro players. We cover the best tips in Madden on offense and on defense. And so if you're interested in getting the best tips in Madden, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And the reason why I want you to click that notification icon is so that you don't miss any of these important videos. And the reason why is because we upload four different tips every single day. So every Every day you're going to get access to new content. Those videos go live at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern times. So we try to give you guys as much information as possible so that you can use that information to make yourself a more effective Madden player. So in today's video, I got a request from one of my subscribers to talk about Noah up next and his big nickel over G defense. Now, to be honest with you, I haven't personally seen him run a lot of it. Um, I've seen him run a little bit of it in some of the Mutthead League games and things like that. From what I've seen, he actually runs a lot of 335 wide and 335, which is, in my opinion, the best way to play defense in the game. And I actually just released an ebook on that 335 wide stuff. So if you want to pick that defense up, um, so far in my CFM, I've allowed zero points with that defense. So very, very effective, very, very high level defense. And you can pick that up in the description of this video. But we're here today to talk about Big Nickel over G. And we're going to kind of talk about why this thing is so good. Um, it's super, super effective against the run. And it's pretty good against the pass. And the beauty of this defense, I think, is that it also allows you to have some different match coverage techniques and different types of hot routes. So we're going to jump right in. And I actually have a full guide on the Big Nickel over G as well in my text message membership, which you can pick up. My number is 812-216-3644. We show a two-hour breakdown of this defense in that. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a, a simple, simplified version of that, um, but just want to jump in here. So, so big nickel over G, and I think I actually have to flip sides here because um, I have it on the other team. So we'll show it to you with the Bucks. Uh, the Bucks aren't the best defense for this. I would recommend the Packers to run this, run this defense with. But the Bucks will be just fine. So I want to show you first and foremost my coaching adjustments and kind of show you what uh, what to expect with that. So for coaching adjustments, auto flip is always on. In my opinion, that's very important. This is a new one that I really like, and that is to play receiver. I actually really like the ball and air defense to play receiver. I personally like to base a line when I'm using big nickel over G, and the reason why is because it allows me to start with the same alignment every single play and then i can unbase the line if i'm facing like a compression set like strong close or gun tight offset or something like that for cornerback matchups there's some validity to putting these by speed but i leave these on balance option defense is always on conservative strip ball you can put that on aggressive if you want to do some user rushing and things like that tackling is going to be on balance but i leave these on balance for this right here, I like to put my curl flats at 20 yards, sometimes 25, depending on what they are running. But I pretty much always kind of start out with this right here. And then for hooks, I kind of see a lot of value in putting these at five if they're running a lot of hitches on you. If they're not running a lot of hitches on you, just leave them at default. So um, you can kind of, you know, you can kind of justify just putting these on five to start, but I'm going to leave them on default. Okay. And then big nickel over G. And what you want to do is you want to. On the packages side of things, you want to flick the joystick to the left. That's going to give you the slot cornerback package. The reason that's important is because when you're with, if you're on default, there's different adjustments that you can have on the safeties. Sometimes you'll want those adjustments. Just for me, not not as a general starting point. Um, those are some kind of super advanced stuff that you can do down the road. So big nickel over G, and the plays that we're going to be going over today is we are simply going to be going over the cover three. Um, we're going to go over the cover three. We're going to go over the the uh, cover two here. And then we're also going to go over the cover six invert. This is one of my favorite defenses. Um, the cover four palms. We're going to go over that. And then we're going to go over um, either the cover six trap. You can, we'll, we'll show you some man coverage as well. But also what I would recommend is having the pinch blitz. The pinch blitz is super, super effective. All of those cover threes and cover twos are now flipped if you use this this weak, weak safety blitz 
um, formation right here or weak safety blitz type of stuff. I would recommend as a general rule kind of sticking to the SS Blitz 3s and the SS Blitz 2s as your base plays. So pretty much every play I'm either going to come out in SS Blitz 3 or SS Blitz 2. I like SS Blitz 3. I think Cover 3 is a little bit better of a base than Cover 2 is, at least right now. So we're going to go with SS Blitz 3. And offensively, we're just going to show this against um, just a spread offense, just kind of show you some different things with it and how this is just a really, really, really tough uh, little defense. I'm going to show it to you against kind of my favorite offense, which is the spread. But literally your base look, you're going to do this every single time. Every single time you come out, your first immediate adjustment is always to show blitz. And the reason why is because you're going to bring this safety down in the box. This now gives you the ability to be able to blitz from your safety position. I think that is super, super valuable. The other thing that I really like about that is if, let's say they run a streak on the right side, like if they run a, let me just show you like a slot streak. Like let's say I put Lewis on something like this and try to hit them up the seam, you're going to notice that this is going to basically bag it. There's no way for them to hit it. You're going to be able to stop that. The next thing you're going to notice is I always like to show or pinch my defensive line. And the reason I like to pinch my defensive line is primarily because it's going to help me with run defense. It's not necessarily, I mean, it does help a little bit with blitzing, but the primary reason is for what it can do for you against the run. So when they, when you know your opponent's running something like an inside zone, you're going to stand kind of right here with Levante David. And if he calls inside zone, this should be locked up. As you can see right there, we're able to stuff it. Okay, so you're going to be able to stop inside zone. The next thing that you're wanting to look into is what do you do as far as like drops, base coverages, all of that stuff. Well, if I audible here to the cover three, you're going to see that cover three is kind of the play that I will sit in for the majority of the game. But one of the things that you're going to notice here is the strong side of the formation, it doesn't necessarily call cover three to that side. So, for example, let's say that um, let's let's say that in, the, in a spread two by two set, the strong side is actually the right side. So if they were to throw a streak route, like let's just say they would do something like this against this cover three, I'd have a chance to hit that streak. Obviously, if I don't drop that yellow. So if I'm playing Mabel coverage or something like that to the back side, then I'm, I can put myself in a, a little bit of a dangerous situation. So you always want to use her the yellow zone that is opposite of that, uh, that player. So for example, right here, um, you're going to see that I'm always going to use her this yellow zone. So we're going to Mabel that right there. But I'm going to go right into this pocket. And the reason why is because I'm super, super concerned about this streak to the right especially against the spread look. So if they run a streak, like that's my guy to go guard, okay? And that's kind of how I like to explain this. There's two primary ways to get pressure from this formation, um, and they're relatively simple. Um, basically what you could do is you can blitz from the edge, or you can blitz from the edge. <laughs> um, you can blitz from the edge on the left, you can blitz from the edge on the right. So like right here, what you'll see is if I want to blitz off the right edge, Right. All I'm going to do is pitch my line, crash it out, and then I like the QB contain. You don't have to QB contain, but I like to. Uh, just help, helps the pressure. You see there you're going to get left edge heat. So you got left edge heat coming that direction. Now, if you wanted to send pressure off of the other side, I would recommend doing that out of um, the cover three sky as opposed to the SS Blitz three. But what you'll see here is I'm just going to blitz that, that safety, and you might want to like just throw him off the side of the line like that. That's what I like to do. And it's the same thing. You're just going to crash your line out, uh, pinch your line, crash it out, blitz that safety there. It's super simple and super effective, as you can see right there, getting instant pressure. So you have two kind of primary ways of sending pressure. One other thing I want to show you is a user rush. And you can actually use a rush off of both edges. So as long as they're in a zone, if you ever wanted to kind of maybe bluff something, right, maybe you bluff this look right here, and they're going to think that you're usering on that middle linebacker, but realistically you're using on Murphy. You see here that I can use a rush right in off of the left. I can also use a rush right off of the right. So if I go to cover three sky once again, pinch my line. I don't like to pinch the linebackers. You can. There, there are some validity in pinching the linebackers. I personally don't like to do that. But if I bring this guy now, as you'll see right here, use a rush right off the edge. 
Those are five-man user rushes off of both edges for you. And the beauty of that is sometimes you can actually, um, especially if you have good, if you have a good user, um, you know, grasp of everything, you could maybe spy Sue. You can play kind of a Mabel coverage here on the right, and then maybe throw this guy into like a deep blue. Maybe this guy goes into a you know a hard flat. You know, something like this right here. Um, could be some adjustments that you could do out of that so you kind of keep everything tight and then you run your user rush and as you see right there I mean it's instant pressure you can get right in so all I'm doing is and I'm not putting my you don't want to put your user on a blitz it's really the only thing you need to know so you have the ability to really create a very nice little symmetrical formation one thing I would recommend with this with this guy is always moving him uh, this direction um, and the reason is just it creates that same look and feel. So even if you're running this defense right here, by having this look and feel to it, it actually will help the defense because, again, you're still going to get your pressure, but you'll notice that that safety will actually cover crossing routes better when he's in the middle of the field. He'll also, it also creates that same symmetrical look. So if I wanted to um, – I don't know what my D-line is doing right there. But if I wanted to create this uh, – let's see here. Do that. Then I would bring this guy kind of right in here. And you want him, you know, decently backed off. But I like to put him right over the center. Some people like to just make sure he's on the trip side. You could do that as well. But that's kind of how I like to do it. And the reason why is really more just like if they throw if they throw a streak on either, either side right here, you're going to notice that he can now kind of get to them. Inside pass lead because they have the inside pass lead these streaks. And um, it's a really, really good defense. So I want to show you kind of one of my first setups uh, for coverage. I gave you some pressure. Let's give you some coverage. So cover three sky. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to deep half both of my outside guys. And then I'm going to show blitz. And I'm going to take this guy right here and basically put him right in this little zone right here. These guys are going like this right here. And then I'm going to use one of the linebackers. Now, there's an, a decent argument to be made that if you wanted to just use her the safety, you could. So I could put like, I could put this linebacker on the right in a deep half or a deep third, I'm sorry. And then on the left side, I could basically create, you know, kind of a, a makeshift cover three. So something like this, you know, like that right there. And then basically just make sure that the right side, if there's anything that goes crossing routes, uh, crossing routes to that right side, you know, then I take care of that myself kind of thing. So you'll see right here, this is kind of the, the look and feel of what we're going to, what we're going to be able to, uh, to create. So essentially you have Mabel coverage, right? With that hook curl on the left for the slot streaks. So the only thing you got to take care of is the right side. The one thing that's really nice about the big nickel over G is the sheds are absolutely ridiculous. You get really, really good instant sheds um, from your guys pretty much all the time in this defense. So that's another front that I really, really like. Um, let's talk a little bit about cover two. Um, so if you want to run cover two, the one thing I would recommend if you're wanting to run the cover two defense, it's a little bit more of a passive, uh, aggressive style D. I would just recommend making sure you don't show blitz when you run cover two, unless you really are you're sure they're not going to run a slot streak on the outside or something like that. So you see right here, something like this. This is a really, really good run defense. It's one of the better passive run defense in Madden. You see this gap typically will open up and you're able to shoot right through. When wasn't able to do that right there. But we'll show you that a little bit. Uh, we'll, sh we'll show you that one more time here. So again, if you're if you're facing a lot of runs, the Tampa two um, is really really good for stopping the run. Um, you can you can also stop the pass with it a little bit. As you see, those those sheds are darn near instant. Like you're gonna get quick, you're gonna get really really quick pressure. Um, even though you you might not be trying to, I never really um, like very rarely do I blitz out of this because of how good these sheds are. These sheds are gonna get you pressure in practically like three to at three seconds at the most normally. So the sheds are gonna really work well for you. But from coverage standpoint, out of cover two, this is kind of one of those defenses that you know you can work with. And all I like to do is, again, I take David, I'll put him in this deep half. I'll literally still move this guy over. You notice that the outside guys don't come down so what I like to do is put these outside guys in soft squats because if they run some type of 
uh, streak. Let me show you that. So if they run a streak, you'll see here that my guys, you see how he can beat it because the, the safety is on the line of scrimmage. So that's just something to understand and recognize. And you have to be kind of mindful of that. Man coverage, um, it, it's all kind of the same. You're just doing everything from a four down lineman set. So if you're in man coverage, this cover two man works really, really well. What I would recommend doing is creating a cover one with a three man rush. So something like this right here. And then taking the lineman that's on the side of the running back and manning him up on the running back. This right here is a really, really good coverage. Cover two man, you know, they're off coverage, but they get really nice little um, animations. And as you can see, you're able to get really, really quick pressure. So those are some things that you can do from big nickel over G. Uh, cover four. Uh, cover four palms from this. I actually really, really like to just um, deep half these guys, and I know it doesn't make a ton of sense, but it just for me it helps a lot. Um, this is a defense that I like to go to. You know, basically if they're attacking the sideline, if they're running corner routes a lot or things like that, um, I'll go to something like this. Um, you'll be surprised at how well these these little inside quarters will play stuff. Um, and again. The sheds are super, super effective. So that's kind of honestly what I do. And again, I don't really, you know, you're, a lot of it's adjustments, you know, so you're going to adjust to whatever they're doing. Um, but what I like about this formation the most is the, the fact that you have the freedom to do something like this and create this look right here and still keep a relatively basic look. Um, nothing really to be concerned about from the offensive side of things. Like they're they're not super. It's a super safe defense. It's a bend but don't break defense. That's the bottom line. And you're doing yourself a disservice, in my opinion, if you blitz more than thirty percent of the time this year, because the sheds you'll get from this are absolutely insane. So, and the run defense is really really good. If you want to pick up our full uh, run defensive tutorial on this, shoot me a text message. My number is eight one two. 216-3644. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can shoot me a text as well. We will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, answering your questions live on stream and talking Madden 21, maybe even playing some weekend league this week. Uh, Got to go get my mutt team ready for that. But thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys uh, in tomorrow's segment.